Assalamu alaikum everyone, you are watching Dine with World. My name is Amina and I would like to wish Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. Ramadan is a beautiful month where we all come together, we worship, we give out zakat and we uh, try to do good deeds, you know. And I think it's just because uh, this month we're trying to do everything that Allah tells us to do, which is why it's a very peaceful month. So imagine if you live your life every day like that, your life will change. Uh, coming back to our show, we are going to make some really nice recipes for iftar for all you housewives out there so that you don't get bored in the kitchen. We have a, a very, very talented chef with us. Uh, we are here at the Islamabad Marriott and he has come from PC Pindi. Uh, his name is Chef Parvez. So let's welcome. Parvez, how are you? I am fine. Are you fasting? Yes, yes. That's good. Thank God. So am I. Uh, so everything that we make in the kitchen looks very tempting. Parvez, what are we going to uh, teach our viewers today? Yeah, chapli kebab. Chapli kebab. That's nice. So you don't have to go to the bazaars to uh, buy chapli kebabs. Make them at home. I'll tell them what the ingredients are. Yeah? The ingredients of chapli kebab are you'll be needing mutton, 500 grams, coriander powder, 2 tablespoons, pomegranate seeds, 2 tablespoons, crushed red chili, 2 tablespoons, turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons, garam masala powder, 2 teaspoons, gram flour, 4 tablespoons, salt to taste, onions, 2 chopped, green chilies, 3 to 4, coriander leaves, 5 tablespoons, 1 egg, and oil for frying. What is this? Fats. This is fat. So, uh, we. Lamb fat. Okay, this is lamb fat. Thank you. So, you can get this for the real chapli kebab taste, you can get this from the market. Lamb fat. Let's start. Yeah, let's start. Minced mutton, very nice. Corn, this is corn flour. Corn flour. Okay. Makai ka atta? Yes. Yes? Okay. This is cumin powder? Yes. Garam masala powder? Yes. yes? Coriander. 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 Okay, sorry. Turmeric. And turmeric. Salt. And salt. So, uh, I'll repeat the spices again in case you've uh, mi chili. missed out. Okay. So, you Chop added... Chop onions. Chop onions. Uh, you add coriander powder, crushed red chili flakes, turmeric powder, um, garam masala powder and uh, cumin powder and now we're going to add chopped onions and we are frying fat in the meantime green chili green chili Chop green chili. Very nice. This is, I think, a very perfect recipe to make uh, for iftar. It has a nice balance of spices. Coriander. Okay, add chopped coriander. And eggs. And an egg. Mix it very well. Okay, that's great. So we added makai ka atta here. So if you don't have the maize flour, which is makai ka atta, you can add um, corn flour in it. Okay. So uh, you are going to put this in the mince machine to process it. Okay. Uh, process this twice. So you put this in the uh, mince processor, and if you don't have one, it's okay. You can just shape them into kebabs. But since these are chefs, they like to do it the proper way. You flatten this very well, okay. And you add a sliced tomato on top. Then you fry. Looks very nice already. Very nice pervade. And the fat is going to give the flavor, right? Yeah, the fat is going to... I can already smell the, uh, the aroma. There you go. Very, very nice. Chapti kebab. You can serve it this way. You can serve it like a burger. Put it in a sandwich. It's up to you. You can freeze it this way. And you can fry during seri. Whatever suits you. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. If you've just joined in, we are making chapli kebab. This young chef is uh, from BC Pindi. He is Chef Parvez. Chef Parvez is younger than me, and look, he's, uh, you know, mashallah, he's doing really well. It's a beautiful color. So instead of buying frozen chapti kebabs, you can make this at home and freeze it, yes? Yes. Put it in the fridge freezer. It has a nice color. And He's already set this up. This is a beautiful dark green chili. Let's ask Chef how he made this. How did he make this? To add mint leaves and? Coriander leaves. And? And uh, ginger. Yeah. And garlic. Ginger garlic paste and green and chilies. Paste to salt. And, and green chilies? Yes. Okay, okay. So it's uh, chopped coriander, chopped mint leaves, ginger garlic paste, salt and chilies. The chapti kebabs are done. They look very nice. Wow, the base, they look beautiful. Her base promised us that he's going to make this in around 10 minutes, right? Her base, you won. That's great. 10 minutes, chapli kebab, very easy to make. Thank you so much, her base. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. And now I'm going to invite a chef from the Islamabad marriage. His name is Chef Noor, and he's going to teach us something very spicy and yummy as well. Assalamu alaikum, Chef Noor. How are you? I'm fine. Noor, what are you going to teach our viewers today? Chicken Malai Bodhi. And uh, is it uh, an easy recipe? Yes, easy. Is it spicy? No, 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 less spicy. And is it creamy? Creamy, yes. Creamy That's and great. Cheese. So it sounds really tempting, uh, which means you have to try this. I'll uh, just tell them the ingredients. The ingredients of Chicken Malai Bodhi are you'll be needing chicken breasts, half a kilo, ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon, green chili, four chopped, salt to taste, white pepper, half teaspoon. Black pepper, 1 4 teaspoon, cardamom powder, 1 4 teaspoon, mozzarella cheese, 1 4 cup, cream, 1 4 cup, yogurt, 2 tablespoons, white pepper powder, half a teaspoon, black pepper powder, half a teaspoon, cumin seeds, half a teaspoon, garam masala powder, half a teaspoon, coriander powder, half a teaspoon, oil, 2 tablespoons. Wow, I love the fact that we're using mozzarella cheese in this. Yes? Great. Uh, let's start. start. No. Yes. Half kg chicken. Yes. Marinate first. Okay, for marination you require. Require, yes. Salt. Table, table salt. Okay. Coriander powder. Coriander powder. Very nice. Garam masala. Garam masala. We added salt, coriander powder, and garam masala. And fresh cream. Fish, fresh cream. Fresh wow. cream. Half cup. Very nice. Um, should I turn the flame on? Should I? Do you yes. want to preheat the oil? Yes. So we're just going to preheat the oil. Ginger garlic, one tablespoon. Okay. Is this enough, Noor? Enough, enough. Okay. Chef Noor has been uh, a chef for the last 25 years. Wow. And he's uh, working at the Samad Married currently and he's worked in the Middle East as well. And he's, uh, gone to he's gone to other countries to represent Pakistan in various food festivals. That's really nice. Green chili chop? Yes. So the marinade again included salt, garam masala, pepper, um, uh, white pepper. We added uh, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. We're adding. Yes. We added ginger garlic paste as well, and we added cream. Wow. Mix too well. Yes. Uh, this was cumin powder, coriander powder, or garam masala. Garam masala. Okay, okay, okay. So this is uh, something that you can serve as a as a main course also, yeah. Main course. Barbecue yeah. and start time and come to 
So while he's mixing this, please make sure that you have sehri in the morning. It may not be a very heavy sehri. Let's not overdo it with lots of parathas and andas. Uh, you can have something nice and healthy, something filling, high in fiber, yeah. so that you um, don't feel. Of course, fasting in fasting you do feel hungry. You have energy uh, uh, the entire day. People have yogurt. You can have dates, of course. Um, have something that is uh, maybe uh, brown rice also. Uh, it digests very slowly, so it can help you keep full. First, two piece, three piece, and four piece. Okay. Barbecue style. Chicken skewers. Skewers, yes. Skewers, sorry. One. Looks very nice. And um, so try to incorporate um, meat also, fruits and vegetables in your diet. Uh, it just, you know, instead of having lots of fried food, have something that's nourishing, right? Yes. Uh, helps to detoxify your body. Chef Noor, you're always so fit. You've, I've never seen you fat. Yeah? How, yes. Why is that? No. Do you exercise? I exercise, I'm game, football. Oh, you play football and? Yes, I'm player football. Very nice. With yes. the children? Two, or yeah. With yeah. Your, or, or with your wife? Wife? <laughs> wife, Does just she only play honor of us. Oh, okay, she's the honor of the house. That's sweet. That's really nice. Looks very nice. Yeah. If you've just joined in, we are making cheese malai booty. We've added mozzarella cheese in the marinade, everyone. Looks very nice. And notice he's not added lots of oil. We're just going to grill it, yeah? Yeah. 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 Wow. I'll help you. No, no. Should I help? No, thank you. Noor, you know, the the most important thing is you have, need to have lots of liquid during uh, Ramadan, right? Yeah, Have lots food. of water uh, because we uh, tend to reduce the water intake. So, yeah. you know, there are lots of different ways. Yeah, water we can have at a time. You don't feel like having water. You feel full. So, you can always make juice. Yeah, we all know that. Um, a combination of pear and oranges, strawberries and lemons. Very nice. Very nice. Um, milkshake, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Milkshake for sehri, very nice. Milkshake and mint cooler. Mint cooler, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, banana milkshake, yeah. You know we 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 use food, but I'm sorry. So now the chicken malai boat is done. Yes. It has a nice barbecue color to this. Looks very nice. Yes. Here's the mint chutney. A nice recipe of um, a cutty meaty sauce that was shared by one of our viewers, Alia. Thank you so much. I thought I'd just uh, tell everyone on air. You need some. Um, uh, nice green chilies, garlic, uh, green chilies 5 to 6, garlic 5 to 6, uh, vinegar around uh, 2 to 3 teaspoons, sugar uh, 2 
two tablespoons and some salt to taste, right? And just blend it together, so it'll be nice, sir, uh, cutty meaty. Thank you so much, Alia, for sharing this, and thank you sh so much, Chef Moore. Uh, this was uh, an amazing, amazing recipe. Uh, I love the fact that he marinated this with mozzarella cheese and cream. The taste, I'm sure, is going to be fantastic. Thank you for taking time out, Noor. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I, like I always say, I certainly did. It's just because, you know, you learn, I learn something every day from these chefs. Every chef has a different style of cooking. And getting ideas, um, it's really helpful for, uh, for, for me and, uh, of course, for all of you. Uh, home cooks as well. I know cooking can be a very tiring and boring uh, mundane uh, duty, especially if you're fasting. So, you know, these little ideas just bring excitement to your life, I would say. And we really uh, respect and adore all you ladies out there who are helping, um, you know, your family by cooking in the kitchen. That's why we um, have Dine with World for you. So I'm going to catch you uh, tomorrow uh, with another new episode of Dine with World. Till then, take care of yourself. Do not overexert yourself. Um, try to eat light, try to be happy. Allah Hafiz.